Hi, beautiful. Today we're in a different location. As you can see, we're not in my studio. You guys always comment asking to see like my closet or like where I go shopping or like, what's the deal, Brad? How do you have so much clothing? And honestly, I have um, my stylist, Martin Gregory, to thank for that most of the time. He dresses me in amazing stuff. And a lot of the stuff you see is by him. But I do go shopping sometimes. Um, usually not in person because I don't love uh, the act of shopping. It's a little bit too much work for me. But sometimes my closet gets a little empty and I just need to actually go and try stuff on. So sometimes in-person shopping, uh, it's just, it needs to happen and today's the day. But I really just wanna show you guys where I go shopping in New York City um, and kind of bring you along for the ride today and show you what I get. And we can just hang out for the day. Emma will be coming with me today. So she'll be filming most of the stuff. And then after I'll probably do like a try on thing um, and show you guys everything I got. You know, I love a fashion moment. So we're gonna be doing some high end, low end and middle end shopping today. We're gonna do some thrift stores in Brooklyn. And then we're gonna do even stuff like probably Zara. We're just gonna have fun today. It's such a beautiful day outside of New York City today. Um, it's literally the first day. It's been warm and so damn long. It's like 60 something degrees. And I'm so excited to be outside all day. This is also an excuse to just get out and actually film something around the city for you guys. Cause I feel like, you know, most people live in LA and it'd be kind of cool to see the New York City perspective. And so for the OOTD today, so I'm trying to wear something basic for shopping. It's a vintage Gautier jacket, which is super cute, um, but really easy to take off. And I have a tank top underneath that's also easy to take off. And then I have these Alexander Wang pants and Louis Vuitton boots that are also easy to just slide off. So that's a good shopping tip. When you're going to try on clothes, don't wear stuff that is difficult to take off. Don't wear skinny jeans ever when you're going shopping. All right, let's go. Okay, we're at our first stop. We're at um, No Relation Vintage. It's like actually dumb. It's making me so happy. It's not like Kardashian when I'm talking. It's so happy. I'm so tired. I'm eating food right now. I'm just stuffing my face. Mm. I haven't been shopping like that in years. Like that was four hours of serious shopping. Shopping isn't fun. I always thought my whole life like, oh, if I had enough money to go shopping, it'd be fun. You know, which I definitely spent a lot of money today. It still didn't make it fun. Even though I bought a lot of stuff and a lot of great stuff that I loved, it felt like work. I want to sit on my computer in my house and just look at clothes. I did like trying stuff on though, I will say that. I cannot wait to show you what I got and make some outfits out of it. Um, I'm probably gonna do it tomorrow morning because I am so tired. I need to rest. We are lugging those bags all over the city. I found some really great stuff that I'm excited to put on for you tomorrow. Uh, mm. Mm. It's been so weird filming like kind of a vlog for you. It's really, I don't know how to do it. I hope I'm succeeding a little bit. I feel like I'm supposed to give like a food update. Like what am I eating? I ate this. It is so good. And I ate like a spring roll. This is like a chili, vegan like chili thing from this place called Late Botanese Day. Great place. You should try it if you live in New York. Uh, uh, I missed you, girly. Hi. I missed you. Daddy was shopping all day. You know, the worst thing about having a dog, even no matter how tired you are, you still have to entertain it and like bring it for walks. It's like, bring yourself for a walk. Like walk yourself. I love you though. All right, I'm gonna stop talking. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good morning. It's weird being in here. Okay, hello room. I have like 10 closets, as I'm sure you would think. This rack right here that's exposed my room, Um, this is all the stuff I have not worn yet. We're gonna kind of move this all out of the way. The smart thing to do would be to like create the outfits in my head as I go, but I didn't do that because I wanted to be really hard for myself. And this is the part that makes me the most nervous is creating the outfits because I'm just so bad at that. I, and that's why I have a stylist. 
does. Sometimes I just don't know how to put things together as well as I would like to. But we'll see today. Maybe maybe I'll be shocked. I was shocked at how much shit I got yesterday. So I have my merch on. If you guys want to shop, it's linked below. Let's start off with the first store that I went to. L Train Vintage. They have so many pairs of jeans. Like it's crazy. Just Levi's everywhere. Let's dump this out. Oh, here it is. Here's the receipt. It's called No Relation Vintage. Okay, so I got these black jeans, which I'll put on for you. Super cute, little Levi's vintage moment. They're super boxy and wide-legged. Legged? Ew. Legs? Legged? Wide-legged? I don't know. Here's somebody's um retired pants from the military, I guess. His name is Jack. Thank you, Jack, for lending me these pants. I don't know if that's bad or not. Whatever, they looked cool. I don't have a pair of, like, cute army pants. This is a Nirvana band tee. It's only $10, so, like, pow. And then, oh my God, really excited about this. This is originally $150 or something. And it's a Calvin Klein jean shirt. Love it, can't wait to wear it. Uh, I'm gonna put some shit on. Okay, and then I went to Mr. James Valoria. Um, this is like a really cool place in New York um, that is very much in the most random place you could possibly imagine. Um, it's been written about in so many magazines, but it's like secret underground, like really amazing um, designer consignment store in like a mall in Chinatown. I got only one thing there, but a great thing. So you'll see with this video that I am obsessed with vintage Gautier, Mr. Jean-Paul Gautier to be exact. But these are super cute. So they look like a normal pair of like black pants. Like nobody can carry your hands, Brad. Look at the detail. <gasps> I'm gonna wear them like all the way open, I think. Cause I want it like super flare, you know? This is worth saying, I, I try to shop at like every different price range. So some stuff was extremely expensive, like the first stuff I went over. Um, and then we're getting into like more expensive and then we'll go back down to like, you know, Zara, which is like middle of the line. Then we went to this store, which is called Purcell. And a little fun fact about this store, you know the, the jacket I was wearing yesterday? So I walked in the store and I was like, oh, I've never been here before, this looks fun. And we like just walked by and found it. And I walked in and she's like, oh my God, is that a vintage go to Jacket and I'm like, yes. She said, like, oh my God, I we have those pants here. And I was like, where the f are they? Can I buy them? And she's like, Bella Hadid just bought those pants. I was like, Bella, babe. Like, I went here. This was probably the most exciting place of all. They had so much vintage Gautier. You probably know by now in this video that I love vintage Gautier because I said it five times. But we're gonna dump that out. So I had to, of course, pick up this Pegasus vintage Gautier. Um, I don't know what year it's from, but it is a jean jacket with these sweater sleeves on it. <gasps> I had to have it. This is one of the weirdest things I bought. These are also vintage Gautier. I know what you're thinking. And let me explain. I can't explain it. I was going to try, but I can't. These are pretty wild. But I feel like if I kind of dress it down on the top and like just do like a black boot, which I always do, like it'll be fun. I bought so many pairs of pants. I mean, that pattern is really cool. Like nobody else has these, nobody. You'll never see people with these. This was probably the most extravagant thing I bought in the entire day and the most outrageous thing I bought. Why do I want to look like a flag? When it's on me, it looks really good. Like Gautier builds for people with like very like square bodies. And luckily I have a square body because Gautier designs for that and Gautier is like my all-time go-to. So, super cute. Then I went to Aritzia. These are so cute. I've never owned anything like this before. Like super wide leg, cute pockets. I've never owned a cream colored pant. Like, I don't know what to do with cream, but we're gonna figure it out together. And I don't know, I just, I'm really into these wide leg pants. I'm trying to be a trendy Gen Z, you know, and not wear skinny jeans anymore. Thank God, cause I fucking hate skinny jeans. I can't get them off my legs and I don't wanna deal with it. When I get home, I just wanna my pants off, you know? These are a vegan leather um, pant. They're so shiny, they're so soft. They feel like silk. I wanna rub them all over my body. And they just fit me so well. They make my ass look good, you'll see in a second. Um, and that, really adorable. The last store, we've made it. I went to Zara, which I also haven't been shopping at Zara in like, Years. Oh my god. Okay, so I did try this on last night because I was so curious. There was only dressing rooms at two places that I could actually use because of COVID. So Zara did not have a dressing room available. So I was like a little nervous about, you know, buying stuff and like not being able to try it on. Cute. Like, what? Why is this so cute? Like, I'm sorry. I know it's fast fashion and I shouldn't be like contributing, but this is really cute. The sad part is that this is the same quality as Aritzia. This was 70 and this was 150. I don't get it. Um, that's fine though. I don't need to get everything in life. Just like I don't get um, how Wi-Fi works or how um, we text each other and it just gets sent directly to each other's phones. I don't get that. Okay, this was a find. Okay, this is in the women's section. For summer, look at this detail. <gasps> oh my God, I'm gonna look so hot in this when I lose like just a few pounds, you know? Okay, this I'm not quite sure about, but like I do like it. It looks really good on me, but is it too basic? 
for me. Like it's really cute. It's a suede brown jacket, which I don't have. Super cute, really great quality. It feels really nice. And then these pants, which I'm curious. Um, these are cargo pants. I literally had a pair of these growing up in the 90s. <laughs> Um, when I was super young, I had these exact pants. You know, obviously history repeats, but it's weird when you see it repeat. Y'all, I wore that when I was a kid. So we're gonna try all of this stuff on and try to make outfits out of it. Hopefully I succeed. Hopefully I look cute. Um, Cause I'm not really loving myself right now. All right, I'll be back with outfit one. Let me preface this by saying, I know that my style is not everybody's style. And I'm not even sure if this is my style, to be honest with you. I mean, the pants are really cool. Like. However, I don't know if I'm convinced that this goes well together. I also definitely need like a different hairstyle with this. Let me put a black pair of pants on and see what's going on. All right, so I think this is working for me a little bit better. I'm like, <sighs> ew. <laughs> It's the hair for me. I need a haircut. Still not really sold on the outfit, but this is like fun. Um, it's definitely different. It's definitely wild. It makes me feel a little bit wider than I need to be, but it's fine. Um, these pants, I don't know if they go with the outfit, but they're so fun. Like, like look at the detail. Like, look at the open slit on the side. Like, what? Like, look at my butt. Hello? Like, what? Like, okay, cake. Cake, 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 cake. Okay, ultimately, I'm gonna need my stylist to help me with this one. Like, this is a little bit out of my styling league. All right, I'm gonna put another outfit on, okay? I just decided that I'm done putting outfits together. I don't wanna do it anymore. I don't like putting outfits together. <laughs> Plus it just takes so long, you guys. I don't have the time. So I'm just gonna show you what the clothes look like on my body. And that's what this video is turning into, okay? Just like a try on haul. Okay, so we have the shirt, you know, just a basic t-shirt. Super fun, super cute, right? Like, uh. then the pant, okay? I look good, my butt looks cute enough. And they're like wide legged. Like, are you kidding? Measure the boot. So fun, so shiny, and we love it. I'm into it though. These pants are fire. With this jean Calvin Klein moment, um, I love it. You could wear a t-shirt underneath it. Like I'd probably wear like a white tank top or I would just have it buttoned. And it's super cute. This white pocket detail. Ah. So I'm losing my mind a little bit, but we're gonna keep going. My allergies are acting up. I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, I actually thought I was gonna be able to put outfits together. Like what the f so again, this is not an outfit. Actually, it could be, honestly, it's not that bad. But I'd probably wear like a white tank top with this just to look really like gay as possible. It's like bah, 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 bah. They fit like a glove. I feel skinny as hell. Snatch at the waist. Oh, and also they have like a jawstring at the bottom. So you can make them really tight and like push them up, make them bulky and But I feel cute. It's like, a two. <laughs> we have a $40 pair of Levi's on and like a $700 jean jacket. And let me just tell you, it is so fire. Like this could be an outfit. I would wear this together. These ones are definitely like, I would wear when I want to feel extremely snatched and like I'm okay with not breathing for the night. But like my waist <laughs> looks good. Um, and then the Pegasus jean jacket. You guys can't tell me this is all cute. Like you probably will tell me it's not cute, but I don't give a <laughs> So this is the Zara suede jacket. I mean, it is really cute. Imagine with like a necklace and like, I'm just not wanting to get ready that day. Like I just want to throw something on that'll make me look adorable. But like, I don't really give a that much. It's kind of one of those looks. I actually really like this a lot. Especially with these pants, like the wide leg pants kind of makes it a little more trendy. Like imagine if I was wearing skinny jeans with this, like I would look so ugly. So I kind of love it. And I love just like, it feels so good. It's so soft. Yeah, this is a, this is a keeper. I'm gonna keep it. So another Zara find. I'd probably wear no shirt underneath, honestly. The fit's kind of weird. Ew, why does it make me look like that? Ew. Okay, maybe like unbuttoned. Okay, it's cute. <laughs> I don't own anything like this. So it's blue as and it's like really comfortable and I could even just do like a little like, I don't give a f man. And I like color. I really hate wearing all black. I feel like it just makes my skin look like it needs life. I don't have a tan right now, so I need like color in my life to bring it to the higher levels. Okay, like <laughs> I need just a little bit of muscle. Like yeah, I need to work out a little bit more. I don't work out. Um I used to. Okay, this detail. <laughs> I'm obsessed. This outfit. I could wear it. Like, imagine. Oh, hey. I didn't see you there. Mm. 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 Go, 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 go. 
I was gonna get a bigger size pan, but now that it's sucking in like the fat rolls here, I kind of enjoy it. These are the cargo pants, super retro 90s, bringing me back to my youth. Kind of obsessed with this. Okay, so I was actually just putting the pants on with just whatever I was wearing, and I was like, this isn't gonna go together. I don't hate it. Like, imagine me like this in a photo, like. Guys, come on. Don't even tell me these aren't cute. They also just fit me like so well. Like I don't have the biggest in the world, but these make it look kind of cute. I love them. I love them so much. Yeah, they make me look thickums too. Thicky poo poo, thicky poo poo. Hey, did somebody order like a cool pair of pants? Oh my God. I'm like wearing them already. I'm sorry. You can't have them back. I need sunglasses, hold on. This would be me on, a, on like a Tuesday. Yeah, no, I really like it. I really like it. So that's all I had to try on for today. Uh, I feel like I kind of did the th damn thing. Like for me, not being a shopper, I actually feel like I succeeded. But I hope you guys liked this kind of very different video. And if you didn't, I don't care, like, really care. It was fun for me. That's how I go shopping. This is how I wear things. This is what I like. Some vintage some newer things. I needed new clothes desperately, so I'm really excited to wear all these things. Make sure you guys subscribe right down below. Um, hit the bell icon and the like button to be notified every time I post a new video. Make sure you guys follow me everywhere else. Here are all my social media handles. If you guys like to check out my hair care and my color line, you can do so with the links right below. You can also get some amazing hair inspiration on our Instagrams at Xmono Hair and Xmono Color. If you guys would like to shop the merch that I was wearing in today's video, you can do so right down below. We have so many amazing pieces from the Live Your Extra Life collection that you can shop. Now, if you guys would like to text me, you can do so. This is my number right here. Yes, it is really connected to my phone. Yes, I really used to see some of your messages. And yes, I can really text you guys back. And I will be doing so if you text me right now. I'll be texting some of you guys back. This will also keep you notified every time I post a new video. And today's Instagram shout goes to Veronica. She said, I'm sure you get this all the time, but I'm dying for a new look. And I trust your opinion more than my own when it comes to styling and a cut. I was thinking a bob would be cute, but I'm afraid it would look weird. Do you have any style cut suggestions? Cut it! Yes, I think you should cut it into a bob, 100%. Getting some like choppy layering in there and some curtain bangs, I think it would completely change up your look and it would be so cute on your face shape. You're such a pretty girl and I love your hair color. And if you end up doing it, I would love to see a photo and good luck. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Okay, so remember I said I was done with outfits today? Well, I'm not. I was just getting ready to leave my house and I'm kind of wearing like everything I bought. So I wanted to show you like a real outfit. Super cute, profound piece of riot. T-shirt, a little chain, my Zara um, jacket, these thrifted $40 Levi's, these Rick Owens, um, super cute zip up boots. This is today's look.